Yesterday we looked at how to use OpenAI's clip to basically change the latent space of uh, a GAN to basically generate images from text. So today that we just look at clip. Um, clip. Someone happens to have uh, brought clip into Runway, so I thought we'd just look at that model. Um, where to find it is inside of your models and then inside of experimental. I'm not really sure why clip is an experimental, but so it goes. Um, it's right here. Uh, contrast of language image pre-training. If at some point uh, this changes, you can always use the search to find it. Let's go ahead and add this to workspace. Um, and then we'll, let's load up an image. Usually what I find works well is you load up an image and you hit run. So we'll try this first. So open file. So this is our uh, two-tailed cat with some red birds. Let's go ahead and use this. And then we'll hit run. So I should say sometimes this takes a little bit of time. Um, I think Clip requires a lot of uh, new installation, um, so it tends to take a little bit longer to get started up. Um, so while that happens, let me tell you a little about Clip. So Clip is, whoop, this actually ran faster than I wanted to. That's fine. So Clip is actually uh, by the folks who made uh, GPT-3, which is OpenAI. Um, their whole deal is basically that they uh, load stuff or like they're using these huge, huge models and, and huge data resources um, to generate better models. Um, that's sort of their claim to fame, and Clip is no different than that. It's trained on a really large source material. Um, I'll link to their blog post if you want to read more about it. Um, but you'll see when you upload an image, what you get out of Clip is uh, a number of categories, and then the percentage likelihood that it is that image or that it is that category. So in this case, it tends to think it's a dinosaur, a sweet pepper, a seal, a poppy, or a worm. Um, I think I might have joked yesterday that this looked like a two-tailed dinosaur or some sort of weird dinosaur thing, um, and sure enough, Clip thinks the same. So, you know, not the most accurate, and I would say it's even kind of interesting that uh, what we were doing yesterday with Big Gan is being a text that, you know, doesn't really show up here. White cat or red bird doesn't show up here, but um, it, we got sort of some interesting results. So let's try a different image. Because I like a little controversy in my life, I generally find that with these categorization things, um, it's worth trying to upload a person of a photo of a person of color and just sort of see what you get. Uh, a lot of these models have bad data around these these sort of things. Okay, so uh, first issue I see here is these are completely wrong. Women tractor bridge poppy and table. So what I've actually found is this is a problem with the model inside runway. Um, for whatever reason, when you change out the image and then you upload a, a different image, um, you get these results pretty much all the time. So what I found works is if you just stop the model and then hit run again, it should start back up fairly quickly. Don't prove me wrong here, runway. Of course, I may be proved wrong. All right, if this takes more than a second or two, I'll probably just stop stop the video and then uh, we'll pick up back again when it's ready. Okay, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, um, but it did up get up and running. So maybe this is why you want to use Colab over Runway for this particular model. Uh, learn as we go. Um, so we've uploaded a photo of Obama, and uh, we see man, um, cockroach, which is not great, uh, boy, snake, mm, also kind of questionable, and woman. Um, so as you've maybe heard, uh, from AI ethicists, uh, a lot of these models tend to do really poorly with people of color. And while this one got manned pretty well, I would say, uh, some of these other, uh, categories are a little questionable. So, um, they are low in percentage, but that doesn't make up for kind of weirdness around them. So let's try one more image. Um, we're actually going to try what I'm going to eat for dinner tonight or what I'm going to try to make for dinner tonight and upload that. And my guess is that, yeah, you see this error, this warning we're getting here, which is basically saying that, like, for whatever reason, the images aren't swapping out correctly. So I'm guessing, yeah, so I get our weird results here again. So I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to hit run remotely again. And fingers crossed, I don't need to go through that entire headache of a restart, but we'll see. Okay. 
Okay, that was a little shorter this time. Um, so see this time, you know, this is squash delicata. Uh, so this time we got some sweet pepper. We got plate. Plate isn't terrible, right? It is on a plate. Uh, bowl, um, I guess you could say maybe that's a bowl or a plate. Uh, lobster and sunflower. So sweet pepper is wrong. Maybe squash delicata isn't uh, a category within this model and it's just trying to default to the closest vegetable we can find. Um, but it's still pretty far off and it's only 44% confident, which is probably accurate. It, you know, when it doesn't know it, it should read a very low accuracy, uh, and it is here. So, um, you know, uh, this is, I have to say, kind of disappointing for what I've seen as a state-of-the-art uh, classifier model. Um, I would argue it's not nearly as good as I expect it to be, uh, considering what I've heard from other folks. Um, but so it goes. Uh, this is sort of part of machine learning is trying things out and seeing what happens. Um, so what could you do with this? I think it'd be pretty interesting. Maybe you could take this output... Uh, run it through P5 and just get uh, just back the uh, names and maybe put them in a commerce, comma separated list and then run it back through something like attention again. Uh, see if you can generate those images again. Or you know you could run this if you're on Colab um, through the uh, clip notebook or the big sleep notebook we looked at uh, yesterday. So lots of opportunities here, and I assume this model will probably get better over time um, as OpenAI builds on top of this. So. Um, thanks for bearing with some of the technical issues here, uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you get a shot and you get better results or you find tricks that make it work better, let me know. Um, so until next time, thanks.